I'm always hoping the moose, not the moose, the, uh, the bear is going to come on out here too because I'd really like to, um, you know, cheaply and easily kill another bear because, really, the expensive way costs you a hat. So I'd like to, you know, it might look cheap. The bear might even think, this guy's a cheater. He just shot me in the butt and now he's waiting for me to bleed out. But seriously, I... The bear family owes me a lot of toques. Okay. The beans. Moose. Rabbits? Anyone? Did you hear that? Ah, neck roll. Ah, here we go. Oh, there he is, right there. Wow. This blind I was. Or it was like this. And I'm like, anyone? And he said, Oh. I'm excited. Hmm. How am I going to approach this? Ooh. Don't need that to be cluttering up my, uh, cluttering up my, uh, my hotkeys here. Okay. Let's go get ourselves a satchel. I was all thinking about, uh, if you look at my inventory here, I've kind of uh, slimmed down to go get some cloth and a toolbox and bring it back up. Instead. Oh, is it... Can I interact? Can I use the fallen tree here? I can't remember. Jeltaz did a video of killing a moose around here, and he used the combination that I'm about to use involving a, an arrow, followed quickly by a flare gun to make him back off so that I don't get broken ribs. I So I hopefully don't get broken ribs. Yeah, horse. Horse. You know what's roughly horse size? Did I lose a moose? <sighs> oh, he's around here somewhere. I'd be fibbing just a little bit if I said I wasn't feeling a bit anxious right at the moment because uh, you know oh no don't don't do it to me mr. tree okay make it up here where is the big glute over here somewhere cold is making my head feel thick yeah so cold I'm warming up again oh
Is he? He's directly underneath me. I'm moose riding right now. I don't like it. Because if I fall into a sort of a... He's, uh... He's being pretty aggressive about this. I think he's getting kind of stuck. Oh, that's just awfully cheap, that is. Um, I really don't know how to get him to stop trying to kill me, though. Today wasn't the moose's day, but if you think for a second I was going to get off this tree while he was doing that, you are crazy. That was, uh, um, I swear there's an arrow right in front of me here. Okay. Well, I've got 43 kilograms of moose to, to deal with here. Oh, it, they double spawned. Okay, so he was standing over here and I overshot him. Might as well grab a stick. Um, and then I fired a lame side shot. Right. Okay, good. Did I shoot him again over here? Yeah, I think I did. I fired another shot at him while he was kind of charging at me. And because I'm again, I'm an awful shot. Yep, there we are. Okay, so how bad is it? It's not that bad, and if I have a couple of things to start a fire with, I'm pretty, I'm in pretty good shape. Um, you just hang tight. I didn't, uh, didn't, that wasn't, that wasn't at all how that was supposed to go, but, uh, I guess it's a, it's a moose, and I'll take it. Listen, yeah, I wasn't, <clears throat> Something to eat. I wasn't about to hop off the tree just to give him a chance, because he would have just pounded me into the snow. So, yeah, if you're, uh. If you're looking for a good spot to get that moose, I guess that's that's the spot where he kind of gets stuck underneath you. See, at that point, he really I expected him to kind of get spooked, right? Most of the animals that you don't can't just get you. Um, they run away as soon as like the bear wouldn't. I don't think would do that. Would sit there and circle underneath you, all angry. I think because it stands up, it actually just pull you off the tree, really, if you counter him there. Oh, wonderful. More sticks. Now you may be thinking, but hey, it's... you. You're just running around freezing to death, collecting some sticks. You're going to run out of sticks way before you've done this moose. Absolutely. But at 8 degrees, I think it's warm enough for me to go out and just chop down a limb. Hopefully, it stays foggy like this, and all it does is get worse as far as fog. And now I can look at this and realize that the, the moose there is kind of pointing at some, some more wood, so I can go get that if I'm really needing to. So, let's get some, might as well get rid of that tinder plug. Let's get some fire on the go here. Start warming this guy up. I carve off huge pieces of moose here as much as I can. Come Thought on. about quartering them. But then I have to hike around with moose bags and... I might quarter them. 
Yeah. It's the only way I can really deal with this guy. I'm going to get ripped off if I don't. Because there'll be so much still on him that goes bad before I have a chance to even, you know, even cook it, you know? So there we go. I got an hour 38. He's going to get thirsty at some point while he's doing this. Now, do I, I really, really should have, you know, focused on maybe seeing how long it's going to take to quarter this beast. It's no deer. Quarter that moose. Two hours. It's going to cost me, oh, with the hatchet. No tool. I have to sharpen my hatchet soon. Okay, let's see. Well, I'm excited I got the moose. I wish she wouldn't have gotten stuck underneath me. You know, I wasn't exactly... I wasn't hoping for a... one-on-one -on -one killer fight in the woods either, but... Uh, Yeah, I'll take what I can get on that guy for sure. They are a tough customer. Okay, not a stick. Really. I guess I've been here too long. Because I have been kind of, uh, you know, off camera. I'll take a little stick run. You know, well, not off camera. I just edit that out. All right. Get cold. Darn it. If I need to do that, I can actually go and get some branches a little closer to the fire. Alright, so he cloned arrows because he was stuck, I guess. Now's not the time for eye closing, my friend. All right. Have yourself a drink. Um. Yeah, yeah. Just get on it. He shouldn't freeze to death while he quarters this thing here, so... Matter of fact, he's doing pretty good. And it stayed foggy. Now, how cold is it? Minus nine. How much time are you got? 35 minutes. Hmm. Kind of putting a bit of a pickle here. I can either get more wood, or I can take some moose home. Definitely need that. How much does that weigh? Nine kilograms a bag. Uh, that's a lot of moose to eat. Too heavy. He's already too heavy. Well, let's see if I can draw them all in. Nine kilograms a bag. That's a lot of moose meat. I mean, it's not, it's, you know, it's obviously not all filled with moose. Oh, and if somehow a, um, a goat. I don't know why I said that. Oh, I think I was thinking gut. But if a wolf, not a goat, comes at me out of the fog, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him some guts. Maybe shoot him.
Well, this is nice. I've got some uh, running back and forth to do. It's going to be pretty good. Ah, oh, he's completely out of, out of, uh, out of stamina. He's done, which is fine. He needs to have a good long rest. The amount of, amount of freezing damage I put him through. Might as well have gotten it. If I would have, you know, taken care of the, the, the freezing, he might as well have gotten stomped by a moose. Whew. Foggy times. The nice thing about fog, though, is it's usually pretty warm. Out. Well, that makes it for less damaging as far as a walk goes. Of course, your visibility is zero. And that is awful. Because that's the only edge you have. Really? Yeah, that's the only edge you've got. Pretty much is your vision. Sometimes you can hear them there. Pretty, a lot of the animals are pretty loud in this game, as far as animals go. Tromping around. All right, fresh gut, 12 of them. Wow, drop all that. I will also drop that. And that. And that. Was I carrying around a fresh deer hide and gut with me like I was going to go on a trip with it? <laughs> mm. Don't do that. Don't don't do that ever. All right. <sighs> yeah, I'm from this guy. Like I was taking this stuff for a walk. Normally I'd only eat one piece, but I got a lot of food coming. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do now, for the next little while, is haul moose meat back and forth. You know, harvest some of it on my porch. Maybe build a fire in this fireplace, and then go around to the back wall and harvest moose meat. That's probably what I'm going to do. So, what do we have for a drink? Can I pound it all back? Nope. All right, got to make myself a tea the next fire I've got, too. I drank that in order to kind of re recover a little bit from my bad lumberjack moves. But I've got enough uh, wood here to, to do uh, some serious work on that uh, amount of food. I've got a lot of work to do there. But that's great. Now I've got my uh, blue side. It's curing 1% already. I just need that bear to... I'm not going to see anything now anyway, but I need that bear to come along. And get him. Oh. I don't remember to close that door before I go to bed. Not that anything's coming in here, but it's just, it's quieter. All right. I'll see you tomorrow at some point. I'll just kind of do a... See you tomorrow. At some point, while I'm harvesting a moose. Nope, I just got to carcass harvesting five. Now. I was at four point eight per bag. I was um warming up inside harvesting. Yeah, my snare caught a bat um a rabbit, of course. Kinda trying to do a little bit of a tandem run here like get more than one bag close to the uh Close to the shack, but I think I'm just going to go one at a time here. Uh, just back and forth. I think the weather's about to turn on me here, so I'll probably only be able to get this one back before the blizzard starts. Too cold to think. Yes, yes, sir. And all this back and forth and no naps is uh, starting, to, starting to get him a little tired here. But as you can see, I only spent one night away from this stuff. 
There's no way I was carrying it. I've already got two bags gone, and there's another seven bags here. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Sixty-three percent. All right. I got two, and I'm gonna slowly walk back to the cottage, the hut there. I don't believe I can run. No. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. Um, I imagine, you know, you did just pick up 18 kilograms and throw it onto your shoulders like it was nothing and start trudging through snow. There we go. Alright. Well, now I know how far to walk. I might have to drop some gear. Alright, anyway, I will see you later because I'm going to keep doing this sort of crazy stuff until I can get back mostly with this meat. I might have to call it at five or six bags of, of moose meat, but... but it's more than I I've ever be gotten before. I this load for much longer. Yes, sir, I know. You get up to this little hill, we can drop it here, and then you'll have enough sprint bar to go all the way back. Yeah, of course, I shot a moose, and my snare caught a rabbit. Just the way it goes. When it rains, it pours. This gear is starting to slow me down. All right, well, I've got a couple more bags home. I've got a couple of bags just up over the hill, and then, of course, just up over there, too. And I'm going to call her an episode. I'm going to um, sleep for an hour. Oh. Does not need to starve, really, at any time now. So I'm going to uh, have a nap. And then deal with this moose get as much as I can harvest it at least. Now I've got um, carcass harvesting five, so that's nice. Um, I gotta make a big fire. So there's gonna be some harvesting of wood. You know, just uh, pretty boring day-to-day -day kind of domestic stuff in the long dark. So I'm going to cut that out, and uh, the next time you see me, we will be ready to go to, at least, uh, to go get the toolbox for an overnight trip to Pleasant Valley. Get some provisions. I'd like to wait out until I have the moose hide. Die if I don't warm up soon. But geez, it's going to take take a while. I, don't, I mean, I've got the food, I can stick around, but uh, basically what I would do then is just kind of hang out, go fishing and throw fish back because I have too much food I don't want to waste it so I just throw the fish back and practice yeah. my fishing skill while eating Freezing. moose meat so kind of boring to watch so I will see you next time until then keep surviving and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching and yeah we'll see you when uh, I'm done at least harvesting this moose this is gonna take at least a day and such so I'm gonna do this off camera so far, I don't think any wolves have come back, so, you know, 
I'll see you next time when we're uh, when we're done this crazy moose business. <laughs>